Hi, this is Paul Gabriel with another episode of Ask ZBrush. Okay, in this episode, we're going to take a look at something specific for sculpting. The question came through, how can I add volume to an existing mesh and avoid flattening? This is quite easy to do and something that you can turn on and off. So as an example, we're going to take a look at this plane that I have here to understand what's going on. So you can see the plane's really thin. Currently, I have selected the clay buildup brush. I really love this brush to build up my surface. It's one of my favorite brushes with inside a ZBrush. So you can see as I'm building up surface through here, from this angle, it looks good. I'm building up my surface. I'm getting what I want. However, if I start to rotate around and look at the back, you'll see the backside is also being pulled through because this plane is so thin. So this could also happen if we take this scenario, let's undo what we've done. And let's also now look at the dog. So in this example, the same thing. If I came back here to the tail and I wanna start changing the form of the tail a little bit, you'll see that the tail is becoming completely flat. So all we need to do to help us when we're sculpting on something that is rather thin is activate something within the brush palette. So I'm gonna come over here into our brush palette. I'm gonna come down to the bottom here and I say there's auto masking. I'm gonna click on that. And we'll pull that up a little bit. And you can see right here there's a button that's called back face masking. I'm gonna turn that on. And then now back to our plane. If I start sculpting on the plane and building up on this side, You'll notice that when I rotate, nothing's now happening on the back side. And if we now go to our dog, and let's once again go to the tail, I can start sculpting here on this side of the tail. And you can see my form and my volume is still being maintained because now the tail isn't being flattened because my back face masking is on. And that is how I can maintain volume of a mesh without flattening. Thank you for watching this video and please continue sending in your questions to Twitter with the hashtag AskZBrush. Again, send us a question in through Twitter and make sure to put the hashtag AskZBrush. Once again, thank you for watching. Have a great day. Happy ZBrushing.